Hello, welcome to um, Mogelson Art. I'm going to start again with my coffee cup series on Dead Mogelson. And this I've actually titled, I've called it um, Divine Espresso. So this is number one in the series. And actually I really don't care for it. It's not anything like my um, original sketch that I did, which doesn't surprise me because that's how it goes. And But I'm going to go ahead and fix this and make it better and um, reshape the cup and add a little more drama. And I don't know if I'll get it all done on the video, but we'll do a second one. So let's get started. I've laid out all my colors. I'm going to stand up so I can see better. And <clears throat> I'm going to start with a flat brush right now. And what I really want to do is just continue to bring this cup. And as you see, I'm just going to paint right over it because it's not really the shape that I want right now. So I'm going to redo it. And that is good. As you can see, I can go right over with my color if I use white, and that's very opaque, so um, I'm just going to come back in. and I might even let some of this other color from the background, uh, this blue and stuff, come through. I kind of like that, where it's transparent. And with acrylic, you can get a lot of transparent watercolor effect coming through. So I'll be able to talk as well, but I'll just go ahead and you can kind of see what I'm doing here doing the whole cup. And as I do this, I'm also going to be fixing the background as well. Because if you don't have a really um, a design that you like, it, um, it just gets annoying. I like to have a nice design. I've painted the bottom green. It's a little softer here. My dog just came into the studio with me, like she always does. Keeps me company. I'm going to have some fun here with laying in some color. And I'm not going to worry about the shape at all. I'm making a new shape. Lots of green, but that isn't always going to be like that. using pure color so it's going to go right over the <coughs> existing one. Oh, the water with um, acrylic is opaque at times, so and you can make it as opaque or transparent as you like. Switch um, brushes so I can get some color in here, and some more white, and I, like I said, I'm just working with the background right now. Find out where I'm at. It'll be a totally new painting when I get done. I like it a lot better because the, the original design and the shape will be what I want. I won't have to change it. It's already making me feel a lot better. brush some of this. I'm going to get back to that. Right now I'm just actually trying to get um, the background and the, the bigger shapes in. I really like this orange so I'm going to stay with that. And just a little 
bit of green in there, but oh, I like that blue that's coming through there too. Some of the things that you can do is <coughs> use what you've mistakenly done and make it for your advantage. Because sometimes they work out really nice, like I'm seeing right now. Blue and this orange is just fun next to each other. It's pretty warm up front here in the foreground, so I'm going to add some nice reds and against this purple it's kind of, I'm going to leave some of that. That just adds to it. I still have the, the design that I want, but just use that as a shadow. Because it's already there, you might as well incorporate it into your painting. See? Oh, it feels so much better. Continue to paint my side. <laughs> sometimes these might be frames, sometimes you just hang them on the wall, so you need to keep that in your back of your mind. I'm going to continue adding here into this coffee cup and adding just a little more detail as we go. I love putting complementary colors next to each other as shadows. Everybody says, oh, if you mix them together, they make mud. But if you're careful, it's uh, glorious. It's very nice. <coughs> dry pretty fast, so I'm not worried about all that. I'm going to turn it around and get out my bigger brush here, and I'm definitely going to fix this background. So I'm going to use a larger brush, and some of this is wet, but um, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to put a light wash over this to tone it down. It's going to be a warmer painting. It won't have as many um, brights in it as far as the cooler colors. I'm grabbing some of this green that's still wet, and, but it's okay. It's just a wash, so it's not going to eliminate, and I could come back with another one and glaze over this if I don't like it. Paint the sides here. I'm using like an opera and a, um, let's see, what is this? the golden yellow.
design and the cup. Come back and add more if I'd like to. This is where you try and figure out what looks back. And sometimes I just lay in colors that I find fun. If I don't like it, I change it. You have to always be something that acrylic too because it goes on thick. I love that about acrylic. I'm getting the green coming that I put down and I'm getting the green coming back up as a, um, a glow. I love that. I'm still going to tweak the background but it's really wet right now so um, let's fix those different shapes. This is a um, very hot orange. Like I said, it's not looking anything like it was before, but it is a little different, but still good. Okay, so I'm going to let this go. I'll come back. You'll see more. Add a little more things. I'm going to let it sit for a little while. I'll start on another one. So, I will be back later.